Learning the Art of Cooking Is there a garden that you particularly enjoy? Yes, I adore the strawberry garden in my neighborhood. Where is it located? It's nestled in the highlands where I reside. When did you first come across it? I stumbled upon it during a picnic in the highlands. What types of plants are cultivated in the garden? Primarily strawberries, but there are also cucumber boxes adjacent to the strawberry beds. What captivates you about this garden? The joy of plucking ripe strawberries is unparalleled, and being amidst nature is immensely gratifying. What sets this garden apart? It's noteworthy for its organic strawberries. How is the gardening managed? Mulching the beds is crucial for conserving water. How frequently do you visit? I visit whenever I can spare some leisure time, as my schedule is often packed. Does spending time in the garden influence your mood? Absolutely. The lush greenery has a calming effect on me. Have you ever considered becoming a gardener? Personally, manual labor isn't my forte, so I haven't entertained the idea. Communication channels What are your preferred means of communication? I prefer face-to-face -face conversations. How do you stay connected with your friends? Given my busy schedule, I often communicate with them through social networks or phone calls. Do you use your phone to keep in touch with your family? Yes, especially since I live away from them. Do you usually write letters or emails? While I used to write letters in the past, I now prefer emails due to their convenience. What do you see as the advantages of using a mobile phone? Mobile phones are incredibly convenient and portable, allowing instant connection with anyone. Do you enjoy handwriting letters? Yes, I find it nostalgic and enjoy keeping handwritten letters as keepsakes. Are you active on social networks? Absolutely, like most people nowadays, I rely heavily on social networks. Do you believe good communication skills are necessary when using social networks? Definitely, effective communication remains crucial, even in online interactions. How do you think social networks have impacted communication? While they offer convenience, they've also led to a decline in face-to-face -face communication skills. Do you consider yourself to have good communication skills? I believe so, as I generally find people comfortable conversing with me. Phone conversations Do you frequently engage in phone conversations? Yes, I find it to be a convenient way to stay connected with others. Can you recall your favorite phone conversation? Certainly. It was the call from my interviewer informing me that I got the job I had applied for. When did this conversation take place? It must have been about two years ago, although the exact date escapes me. Who was on the other end of the line? It was the owner of the restaurant where I currently work as a cashier. What was the content of your conversation? He offered me the job and extended his congratulations. What made this conversation particularly memorable for you? It was a moment of anticipation and relief, as I had been eagerly awaiting the outcome of the interview. Do you prefer face-to-face -face conversations or phone calls? Personally, I prefer face-to-face -face conversations as they feel more lively and authentic. Who do you typically converse with over the phone? I speak with my mom almost daily. Our evening phone calls have become a cherished routine. In your opinion, what are the main differences between speaking in person and speaking over the phone? Speaking in person allows for visual cues like facial expressions and eye contact, which can add depth to the conversation. On the other hand, phone calls rely solely on auditory communication. My hometown. Hi, I wanted to tell you a bit about my hometown. Oh, sure. Where is it located? It's in a coastal state of the U.S. Is it more of a city or countryside? It's actually a suburb area. What's it known for? 
It's famous for its tobacco industry. Interesting. What do people do there? Most people are involved in agriculture, particularly growing and selling tobacco. How's the atmosphere there? It's quite peaceful, and I love the fresh air. How are the people? They're friendly and hospitable. Would you like to live there or somewhere else? I'd love to stay there forever. Is it easy to find a job there? Manual work is abundant, but I'm not sure about white collar jobs. Is it a good environment for young people? Not really. Life there is quite slow paced. Young people might prefer the hustle and bustle of the city. Is traffic congestion a problem? Not at all. We're pretty happy with the traffic situation. Entrepreneurial Journey Hi, I wanted to share with you what I've been up to lately. Sure. Are you currently studying or working? I left school about three years ago. I'm actually working for myself now. Oh, that's interesting. Are you self employed or working for a company? I'm self employed. I used to work for a company about two years ago. What kind of business are you running? I'm running a small business where I make and sell handmade cosmetics. That sounds cool. Did you encounter any challenges when starting your business? Definitely. At first, it was tough to attract customers, but things are looking up now. Is your business online or offline? It's mainly online. Selling online has been more convenient, especially leveraging my social network. When did you start your business? I started about two years ago. What are some advantages of being an entrepreneur? I appreciate the flexibility to take time off when needed and the potential for higher earnings compared to traditional employment. Learning languages. Hi, I wanted to chat with you about something I'm really passionate about. Sure. What's on your mind? Well, I love learning languages. It's something that has always fascinated me. That's great to hear. What's your native language? English is my mother tongue. Interesting. What other language are you currently learning? I'm currently learning Spanish. I got hooked on it after visiting Spain last year. Is Spanish widely spoken in your country? Yes, it is. With the diverse population we have, Spanish is actually the second most spoken language here. How often do you get to practice Spanish? Quite frequently, actually. I encounter Spanish speakers almost daily, whether it's at work, in stores, or just around town. That's fantastic. How long have you been studying Spanish? I've been at it for about five years now, and I've reached an advanced level. What motivated you to learn Spanish? I've always been drawn to Spanish culture, and I believe learning the language is a gateway to understanding it better. Who's your Spanish teacher? I have an excellent teacher who's a native Spanish speaker and is also fluent in English. Why do you think people choose to learn a second language? I have an excellent teacher who's a native Spanish speaker and is also fluent in English. Why do you think people choose to learn a second language? There are various reasons. Some do it for professional opportunities, others for travel, and some, like me, just do it for the sheer joy of learning about another culture. My computer. Do you have your own computer? Yes, I have a personal laptop that I use regularly. How often do you use it? I use it pretty much every day. It's essential for my work and personal tasks. Have you ever taken any computer classes? Yes, I took some classes years ago to learn Microsoft Word and Excel. What do you mainly use your computer for? As an accountant, I rely on my computer for managing business records and financial tasks. But I also use it for browsing the internet, watching movies, and listening to music. What do you think are the advantages of using a computer? Using a computer makes tasks like online shopping, bill payment, and banking much more convenient.
Plus, it opens up a world of entertainment options. Do you use any other high-tech devices besides your computer? Yes, I also use a smartphone for staying connected on the go. Do you think children should learn how to use computers? Absolutely. It's important for children to learn computer skills early on, although parental supervision is necessary to ensure safe and appropriate use. Culture Which culture do you belong to? I was born and raised in America, where my cultural identity was shaped. Is America considered a multicultural society? Absolutely. American culture is a rich tapestry woven from the diverse customs and traditions of various races and ethnicities. How long has your country been practicing those customs? The cultural practices in America have evolved over a long history, spanning approximately 10,000 years. What custom do you appreciate the most? Personally, I appreciate the nuances of dining etiquette. It's something that feels distinctly American to me, especially when I travel abroad. What are the traditional costumes of men and women in your country? While cowboy hats and boots have been iconic American styles, modern preferences lean towards more casual attire like jeans and t-shirts. Are you comfortable with the traditions and customs of your culture? Absolutely. Growing up with these customs, they feel ingrained in me. How do people typically greet each other? Greetings vary depending on the situation. In informal settings, a simple hi suffices. Have you ever felt drawn to another culture or land? Yes, I've always been fascinated by Indian culture. I dream of experiencing a traditional Indian wedding firsthand someday. A wedding. Have you ever attended someone's wedding? Yes, I've attended several weddings, but the most memorable one was my best friend's. Who did you go with? I went with one of my classmates. Where was the wedding organized? It was held in a downtown restaurant. What activities took place during the wedding? Guests enjoyed a lavish wedding feast, followed by singing and dancing to celebrate the couple's happiness and offer best wishes for their future. What did the bride and groom wear? The bride looked stunning in a white wedding gown, while the groom was handsome in a black suit and tie. What was the most interesting ritual in the wedding? Personally, I found the exchanging of rings to be the most captivating ritual. Are weddings considered significant events in your country? Absolutely, weddings hold a special place in our culture, much like birthdays. Do people in your country tend to marry at a young age? Not particularly. The average age for marriage is around 27 for women and 29 for men. What do you think is the ideal age to get married? In my opinion, around 27 seems ideal. At that age, women often exude charm and maturity. How have weddings changed in recent years? One noticeable change is the reduction in the number of rituals involved. Weddings today tend to be more streamlined compared to those in the past. Handcraft items Do you love handcrafted items? Yeah, I'm a big fan. Most of my accessories are handmade. What handcrafted item do you like the most? Well, among my collection, I'm particularly fond of my bamboo handbag. Where did you get it? I picked it up during a trip to the countryside. They have a thriving community there that specializes in crafting items from bamboo. What makes it so special to you? It's the uniqueness that really draws me in. Despite my travels, I've yet to come across anything quite like it. What's it made of? It's crafted entirely from bamboo, 100%. Can you describe its appearance? It's got a trendy vibe despite being made from traditional materials. The size is practical too, about the size of an A4 paper, perfect for carrying all my essentials like makeup, wallet, and tissues. How is it made? I actually got to witness the process firsthand. 
It's a labor-intensive task where artisans spend the entire day intricately weaving hundreds of small bamboo fibers together to create each bag. Sounds intricate. Is it a difficult craft? Definitely not something I could master easily. It requires a great deal of skill and patience, which I unfortunately lack. What makes it special aside from its material? Aside from its eco-friendly properties, it's the connection it brings to the peaceful countryside where I found it that makes it truly special to me. It sounds like it holds sentimental value for you. Absolutely. It's a reminder of that tranquil atmosphere I experienced during my visit to the countryside.